Hello, hello, hello there, my crafty beds. It's your crafty bed, Peggy, and welcome to Stormy's Imagination Station. Guys, this is a reshoot, a little bit better uh, shot of the uh, book here, so I thought I'd just go ahead and reshoot this completely. Guys, this is a uh, junk journal that's made with the Stamperia Pink Christmas Collection. Um, I hope you like this. Guys, to tie this, I just went ahead and used this beautiful lace piece that I also used to frame the uh, inside of the front and back cover of this book. Guys, this is using a uh, manila envelope that I have altered and done a faux white leather uh, look with. I've used the white, uh, the rice paper from the collection of the beautiful kitty. Uh, that says Christmas Wishes on here. I've also used a uh, iridescent gloss over the top of this to give this a little frosted snow effect. I think that turned out pretty good, don't you? Guys, this is a single, single signature. There's over 100 pages in here, not including the uh, little ledger papers that I've used, the uh, sales tickets. Uh, guest checks and things like that. Just hard pages. There's over a hundred in here. Single signature. I used uh, uh, wax. Um, oh, it's like uh, uh, butcher uh, twine. Very hard, durable stuff on here to uh, put this together. This also has a beautiful uh, wedding applique on this back bottom down here. Um, done with pearls and iridescence. I just think that's absolutely gorgeous. Then on the back of this, I've used another rice paper from the collection of the beautiful roses. I went ahead and framed this out and again hit this with a little bit of that uh, iridescent frosting. Just to give it a little snow effect, okay? Guys, this book right here is a 6x9. And it's pretty thick, as you can see, this is it untied. Uh, this has got a lot of room for writing. I basically left this to where this can be utilized to the fullest as a writing journal, okay? This has got a lot of real estate in it, a lot of place for writing, okay? So that's the front cover. I love that cute little kitty with her cute little hat on and with her roses, and she's got her little purse hanging off her paw there. I just love her, don't you? I love her from the collection. She's one of my favorites. Guys, with this, you're going to get a set of four of the clips. I went with these instead of using the metal paper clips inside of here. Uh, these are done with the um, rolls collection on the background to accentuate the uh, beautiful uh, pink Christmas collection used here. Uh, this is the back of them. We've also uh, used uh, pale pink. Um, spray coming off of these with the uh, vintage roses on here. So you'll get a pack of four of those. And we're also adding in this gorgeous rose. This is a hand beaded from one of my friends here. Let's see if we can really get this to shine up good for you. That is really gorgeous right there. This is all hand beaded, hand done. From the front, I didn't want to hard uh, wire this on here so that you could use this in your craft room if you wanted to put this in one of your favorite vases or use it on something that you wanted to use it on. This is just a beautiful add-in to represent the rolls from the collection, okay? So those are extras that come with the book. So let's get started and do a little flip through of this. Guys, the front cover here, we've used a uh, page from the collection. Everything is from the collection. We've trimmed this again with this beautiful uh, uh, off-white lace. And then I've, I've added some of it for the tie with this to go with it. And we've framed this uh, beautiful border piece from the collection that we've used to make the pocket on. We've used iridescent eyelash trim around that, and then we've left the uh, inside back raw so that you can see some of that faux white leather that I've done there for you. These are uh, beautiful pieces from the collection, the tag, and then this is one of the little rounds, and I've done that like a little extra booklet there. Isn't that beautiful? I've hit this with Winkostella some of these for a little extra uh, shimmer and shine on these as well as distress the edges 
I just think that's a really cute little booklet there, okay? And then this goes to the Santa page. And inside here, we've made a little pocket with the teeny tags. I used the entire collection on this, guys. I used the ephemera pack, which this is from the ephemera pack with beautiful journaling cards on there for you. Uh, so that you can utilize this uh, collection to the fullest. This does tend to go rare. Um, they ran out of this. In fact, this was the second printing of this that I got my hands on for this. So this is a rare collection. And I wanted you to be able to enjoy the beauty of this. So we did not uh, mar it. I just wanted to accentuate it. Uh, to go with the front cover there, we've used a beautiful vintage off-white uh, crocheted doily that goes around here. And then this is the uh, front. We've used extra thick vellum in here. This is the circlet page. And we've uh, highly distressed with coffee. Uh, vintage coffee uh, staining on this to really vintage this up. I thought that would go good with this collection to give it a little extra vintaging. We've used pink flatback pearls, crocheted flowers, uh, extra pearls here, as well as uh, handmade paper flowers. I've also used a vintage um, fabric um, lace na uh, fabric napkin that I've cut the roses off of to uh, add to the snippets on the side of the pages here. This is the back side of that snippet. Uh, Holly Jolly, it says, from the collection. And again, we've added beautiful sequin snips, uh, just different kinds of lace trims and stuff. And then this is from the collection. Beautiful graphics on this, isn't there, guys, on this Stamperia? On the edges of the Stamperia pages, I've added the Snowball Crocheted Trim. Just cute little thin trims there to just help give that a little bit of, of um, extra added something. But it really doesn't need it. I just really love the graphics from this collection, don't you? And I just tried to capture that. This, again, is from the collection. I've turned into a pocket. Uh, went around the edges with some gold. And then we have yet another booklet inside here. Lots and lots of beautiful spaces for journaling on here, guys, I really think. <laughs> and like I said, I didn't go crazy, crazy with this. I wanted you to be able to write on this and use it to its fullest. This here is um, tracing paper here. And then throughout, we have several of these handmade charms that I've done with glossy accents. These all have eyelets, and these are uh, um, ringed up through the top of these pages here. Uh, extra thick graphic paper here. We've got invoices that we've hit with light purples to accentuate the collection as well as pinks throughout. This is another corner piece here with another sales. We've added a beautiful applique on the bottom here. And like I said, I just wanted to accentuate the beauty of the kit because it really goes uh, rare fast. I've added a little cute little corner piece here that we got the little uh, tags that I laser printed off from the collection to go with this and shrunk these down so that you have uh, baby tags and stuff to go in here. And then the backs of these is all from the collection, guys. So I stuck with the collection on this and really tried to uh, do what I could with this to make this uh, a nice little keepsake for you. <laughs> and I hope whoever gets this really likes this. I, I put a lot of time and love into this. This is another one of the great journaling cards that come with the collection. And in the edge of this tracing paper page, I've used the Snowflake punch. Again, vintaged it up. Went with the pink and the brilliance um, uh, pinks to accentuate the collection as far as the distressing on the edges. I used one of the big uh, doilies here that you can write on everything. I wanted you to be able to really be able to do some journaling on here. Maybe some nice poems or whatever you like to uh, write and stuff. This is another nice uh, journaling keepsake here. I just love this collection, don't you guys? I really love the graphics of this. I think they did a great job with this. Again, all the edges are done on the um, collection with the snowball 
crochet trim. Uh, all the pockets and stuff, all of the images is strictly from the collection. This is from the journaling cards. Isn't that beautiful? And I just hit the edges with uh, brilliance on a little bit of this. Like I said, I didn't want to take away from the beauty of the collection. I distressed the edges on the tags here. And you can still write on the back of these. I just wanted you to be able to really enjoy the collection to the fullest. We've done a lot of these uh, snippet edges here. And again, the vellum is extra thick. You can uh, write on these. <coughs> lots and lots of journaling space in here. Handmade stamp here on the side to uh, go over the top of the deer with Christmas. And then there's more of the original lace uh, down on the bottom there to kick it. We've got some little envelopes here. Here's a cute little, another little journaling spot. Isn't that nice? I just love this collection, don't you? I think this is so really nice. Whoever uh, the artist was of this, they did a great job. This goes with the collection here. This opens up to another nice uh, journaling spot as well as a great tag here that you can put pictures on. You can do lots of journaling in here, like I said. Just kind of do what you like in here. There's lots and lots of room. And the graphics are just beautiful. I think, whoops, I'm sorry. I think the graphics are just absolutely scrumptious on this, don't you? I just love this collection. Just love it. And then we've got some little sales receipts we've hit with the coffee as well as the uh, brilliance. Um, we've done a little bit of uh, stenciling over here on the side here with the brilliance. I just love that sheen, don't you? Then again, we've got another uh, charm hanging off of this page here that we also hit the edge uh, with that snowflake die to give that just a little bit of something. This is a beautiful image here from the collection. I just love this collection. Another journaling card here. Lots and lots of room for writing, guys. I just, I love this. I think this would be a really nice suggestion for your uh, upcoming Christmas season. This just slides over here. If I can get it back in there real quick. <laughs> this page here, I've done a pocket from the collection, and I added some embroidered roses, rosebuds there on the side. Hope you can see those really good. I added two vintage buttons here. Uh, with black back pearls on the corners. And then this is another, uh, just a little pocket here with the deer. <coughs> and all of these have wonderful, wonderful uh, journaling spaces inside. Gorgeous graphics on these. I just love these. I think the graphics on these are just gorgeous, don't you? I love this collection. And I hope I did this justice, y'all. I really worked hard on this. And then we've got some of the smaller sizes. And again, these have wonderful spaces for uh, pictures or journaling spaces. We use the stamps here with two more vintage buttons on each side. Again, uh, coffee staining up here. I really wanted to vintage this up. This is another handmade charm here hanging off the top glossy accents on that. I just love these. I just I thought these would be nice for some extra added whimsy. This come from the uh, uh, rice paper collection. And then we've got some accentuating washi tape up on the top of the graphic page. Uh, all of these has been coffee stained. <laughs> Isn't this a beautiful page here? I love this. I think these roses are just scrumptious. And then again, we've got the uh, the stamps up the side that I've distressed. I think those are just lovely, don't you? This is a beautiful collection. I see why it goes out so fast. You know, this thing came and went so fast. I was so upset. I wanted to get my hands on it and do one of these. Then we've got another um, charm up here on the top. Extra thick graph paper on the side there. And then I love these old rent receipts here. I love the writing on those. Look at that. That beautiful old scroll writing. This here is the laser print I've done of the uh, collection. 
And again, I just I just barely distressed these a little bit. I wanted you to be able to utilize these to the fullest. And this is a cute little tag right here. Just like uh, little uh, stick spots here and there. And then I gave you some of these cute little rolls cutouts from the collection here. It's down in here. It's hard to get your fingers on this. And I hit this with uh, Wink of Stella and also back these. So these are cute little writing spaces as well. Or little extra added pops uh, for uh, your little uh, pictures or whatever you decide to put in here. All of this is completely writable. Then we've got an extra big pocket here. And what I've done is I've added you some vintage um, recipes in here. And I just thought these were really cute. There's some some more um, big ephemera from the collection. That you can do your own recipes on. But we've got like the Christmas trees recipes. Uh, we've got the English plum pudding in here for you. The uh, old world Christmas grandma's sugar plum recipe. Sugar cookie recipe. Sugar plum recipe. And then we have the uh, spice and fruit cakes. And these are from old vintage um, recipe books, you guys. It's been printed off and put in here for you. <coughs> I thought you would enjoy those. Just some extra added fun. And uh, be able to have some old vintage recipes like that. Then on the back of this, guys, we've got two beautiful uh, jewel drops uh, hanging down from there that I thought accentuated these really well. A uh, little extra added fun there with those. I thought these were really nice. Again, we've done the coffee staining on the edges. Then we've got a nice flip-up tag here that's like a waterfall. We've got baby tags up here in the top. Joy, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, flat back pearls and we've used brilliance again around the edges paper from the collection and I did add a little bit of uh, pops from the Downton Abbey line in here I thought went with this these are this is a little tag that I've cut out of a vintage uh, book with more of that iridescent eyelash trim we've done one of the um, flat back pearls up here on the top and then these just flip up and you can put little pictures on here little writing Here's another one of these gorgeous little roses from the collection. <coughs> and and just some little pops back here. More of these teeny envelopes. You can write on these as well. These also hold more of those cute little roses inside there. Then we have a little heart uh, down here. And all of these are totally write writable. I've made these like tags. Then we've got a gorgeous hand-dyed poinsettia down here cut out of uh, new, uh, old books as well. Best with, it, bleh, with love and best wishes, this is down here on the bottom. Then this just flips out like this. Lots more room for lots of good writing in here, guys. I really tried to make this where you could utilize this to the fullest. I think about my daughter with these because she's a poemer poem writer, whatever you call it, and uh, she likes a lot of spaces for journaling. Here's another one of these uh, little charms here that I've put up on the top. Again, all of these are all eyeleted and, and uh, all are ringed to the top, reinforced on the top, all of these. <coughs> Here's another one, all from the collection. These has all been shrunk down and turned into charms for you. Just wanted to do a little customizing inside here for you. Beautiful, beautiful graphics to this, huh, guys? I just love this line. I can't say enough about it. Here's more of these gorgeous tags for you. Again, I left the backs to where you can journal on these, put pictures. We did the roll scroll on the rolls page here. <laughs> little receipts stuck here and there. Little sales invoices and things. Little things of whimsy. More envelopes down here, the teeny tinies. And again, the extra thick vellum I went with, guys. So you could be able to write on these. You could use markers on these, whatever you want to do. If you want to draw and doodle on these, that's fine. I think they'll hold up to pretty much anything. Then here I went with the whimsy. I used that cute kitty again. I uh, love this trim here, the accentuate. I kept. I used everything to try to pull the colors in. And I just had fun with this one, guys. This is an extra big tag down here. And this is a cut from the line. And then I made a shaker out of this. 
and and it's just a lot of fun the back of that all of this is from the line and then you can write on the back of this i just thought this was extra fun and again this is more of those embroidered roses up here on the top flat back pearls vintage buttons on the top and bottom down here and a little silk flower i just thought y'all would have a good time with that and this is a nice peekaboo pocket here all of these will hold quite a bit then on the middle pages guys i went with the uh, gold trim lace to accentuate yet another border from the line and then we've added more of the ephemera cuts for you I love these journaling pockets. There's a lot of room on those. You can do a lot with them. You can pocket, uh, write on those or picture them, whatever you want to do. <coughs> and again, there's another cut from the line. Distressed all the edges again with all of these. Uh, vintage buttons on the top again. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. A custom envelope on here. We hit with brilliance around the edge. Another fussy cut uh, roll set from the line. And then inside, we've got another one of the beautiful cuts here. The journaling cards, I think, are just scrumptious, don't you? I really did not want to take uh, from the beauty of the collection on these, like I said. So I left it as is. This here's another corner pocket here that we've gone with flat back uh, daisies down the side here. Pieces of vintage um, uh, wedding dress applique and uh, iridescent fabric to help make that pop right there and then we have another cut from the line here and I really like I said I wanted to go vintage with this the tracing papers and all of that I wanted to see what this collection looked like vintage up and I think it went well I love the snippet edges again extra thick vellum here so that you can write and do whatever you like on these and then I went with the light purple sprays on this to accentuate the uh, line as well. This is one of the doilies done with Brilliance Edge. Tracing paper here, invoice paper, curled back uh, from the collection. Santa and his sleigh. And then we have another one of the uh, beautiful journaling cards. I just think they speak for themselves, don't you? Again, the edges are done with the uh, crocheted snowball trim on these. Look at that deer. Isn't that beautiful? And I just think this vintage stuff really nice, don't you? This is another extra thick graph page here with a uh, flat back pop on both sides. Here's yet another one of the uh, custom charms from the collection. These all have been glossy accented, grommeted and uh, rings on the top. I love the sound of that, don't you? We've used uh, Floor Delay uh, Glitter Washi on the sides of these just for a little extra added. Just soft, you know? I didn't want to go too loud. We have uh, handmade charms on both sides here. I think these turned out really sweet, don't you? We've got an extra little stick spot right up there at the top. On the back of this, another charm and one of those vintage uh, receipts again with that beautiful writing. Extra thick graph paper again. And then a couple of tag spots here with flat back pearls accentuating that. I just think this turned out super cute, don't you? And I'm sorry I didn't get everything in it the first time. And I'm, I'm slowed down and I'm going over it a little bit slower this time. This is the rolls page again. I just really, really love that, don't you? And then we have yet another custom charm on the back of this one here. I think those are super gorgeous, don't you? I really like those. I hope whoever gets this uh, really enjoys these. I had a lot of fun making these little charms here. And they just dangle and hang. And then we've done snowflake cuts on the back of this, the top and bottom. And I just love that too, the print on that right there. Everything is totally writable. Very vintagey though, and I think that it goes. Like I said, I really like how this turned out. This is another piece from the collection. Then we've got another pocket down here, again hit with brilliance around the edges. 
Nice little writable booklets here. Big tags. And I do love this. This is a custom doily that I did from the collection for the collection. And I made a booklet out of it. So it's a double doily there with plenty of writing space in the back. Then we did this gorgeous tag here that's been hit with Wink Stella. I think that's gorgeous. Flatback pearls. Lots of writing space. I made flowers out of vintage books that also hit with that iridescent eyelash trim. This is another one of those. And these are just whimsy tags that I vintage the edges of them. And you can totally utilize these to the fullest. And then we did more of the stenciling with the, uh, the off-purple uh, brilliance on these, on this tracing paper back. Sales receipts, sales receipts. And then we've added some more of these gorgeous fussy cut roses that you could write on, stamp on, whatever you wish. Hidden pocket over here on the side with yet another cut from the collection. I just love this collection. It's so soft and pink and beautiful. This is another one of the tags that come with it. I've added some of the um, off-white eyelash trims on the top there. And that'll just pop right down in there. Then we've done another snippet edge on this extra thick vellum. I just love that. I think that'll hold up for a long, long time. Another beautiful cut. I just love this paper. I love that background there, don't you? I think this is just gorgeous, gorgeous paper. This Stamperia Pink Christmas. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. It's one of them that you hate to hoard it, but you hate to cut it up too. <laughs> and then the deer page here. I just love it as well. And then it comes with a nice cut from the collection there. Beautiful journaling cards. Nice tuck spot there. Another big doily. And then I chose these two stamps. I didn't do a lot of stamping in here. Like I said, I wanted you to be able to utilize this. But I chose this farm scene and this gorgeous surround here. And then on the back of that, I hit this edge again, vintaged it up, and hit it with the snowflake. I really tried to make this look like it had been passed down. And then I chose him. I love that image of Santa, don't you? And then I did the uh, light purple, lavender, whatever you want to call it there. I left this one here blank on this grommeted in case you wanted to do a dangle of your own of some kind here. I didn't want to take them all, but it was hard. <laughs> I was really having fun making those uh, charms. Then we've got another beautiful cut from the line here. This is uh, German Dresden paper around the edge of these. I just love that stuff. From Germany, so I don't know what... Uh, it's Dresden paper. It's very decorative and beautiful. There's the other little squirrel there. And then here's another flip here. This has uh, iridescent gold uh, tie right here. And then these are all, of course, from the line... This is the church, the kitty, and then Santa. Space to write underneath. We went with the iridescent gold on the side right here, as well as another poinsettia from an old book right there. I just love this. On the top of this, we've done uh, fussy cut roses from the line again to top that off with the iridescent eyelash trim. I just love that. I think this has got just the right amount of sparkle, I think, and shine to accentuate this line. I just really love this uh, Pink Christmas. So I just fell in love with this, uh, as did a lot of you whenever this first came out. This is a nice flip out here. Vintaged up. Lots of writing room in there. Uh, another from the uh, tissue paper. I wanted this all uh, vintaged up right here. Uh, another nice uh, writing spot there. Extra thick vellum. This is with the circles again, front and back. Um, this is actually that vintage uh, napkin. This is fabric. I don't know how old that is. I cut all the roses off of that 
We've got Twas the Night Before Christmas brads and stuff attached to this and different um, black back pearls, sari trims. It's just soft, I think, and I think it accentuates the line perfectly. And again, this is the back of that with more with another one of these silk uh, roses in the middle here and this beautiful crocheted doily right there. And then the back page... We've left it like the front so that you can see that, that uh, fake leather look there. I just uh, like the way that that come out. I hope that's filming good right there so you can really see that. We use the iridescent uh, eyelash trim around the edges as well as that gorgeous rose border, border down there on the bottom. And then this is another set of cuts from the line that we've done a, a yet another booklet out of for you. Lots of places to write on this as well on the back of this. You could put pictures on this, whichever you'd like to do. Then you've got a gorgeous cut here. I've added another pocket with the teeny tiny tags here on the, on the bottom. They've both got the roses print on the back of this. I just think this is just soft and special, don't you guys? And that goes there. And then we've got another journaling card. Just full of gorgeousness. So guys, if you're interested in this, this is uh, in the eBay shop. And um, I wanted to do a um, complete showing of this for you. As well as your clips um, and your beautiful rolls that goes with this. Okay? So guys, uh, stick around. We've got yet another journal to share with you. And until next time, be crafty, be cool. And I'll see you when I'm looking at you, all right? Bye-bye.